Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute. That's kind of how I roll lately with my YouTube videos. They're a few months apart. I'm going to try and be better at it, but honestly, I might not be. Just just hang in there with me. I don't have an upload schedule, but it's whatever. I'm rambling at this point. Moving on. Today we're going to be reviewing the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. I had to look at the package because I kind of forgot what it was called. But it's one of these markers, like a brow marker, that has these three little prongs that does like little hair-like strokes. You can tell I've already kind of done it on my hand. This has been talked about quite a bit already, but I wanted to give my two cents. I was really intrigued to try it, like I said. I think the concept of having those little um, hair-like strokes already built into the brush of the product would apply product very naturally, and I know that's the point. Um, however, I didn't really find that it gave the effect that was desired really for me today. I will get into it a little bit more here in a second, but that's what the review and the demo is for. Today we're going to see if this brow pin is worth the $9.99 that it cost me at Ulta. I think it ranges from like $7.99 to $9.99 depending on where you buy it, but I bought mine for $9.99 at Ulta. Go ahead and stick around if you want to see my review and demo of this product and hear my final thoughts, my final verdict at the very end. Please give this video a huge thumbs up down below if you do like it and if you like videos like these if you like reviews if you want more let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and of course by subscribing and hitting the notification bell that way you get notified of all my videos so you don't miss them in the future and without further ado let's go ahead and get into this dang review all right I'm gonna start how I normally would start off my brows with a spoolie just brushing through the brow hairs to kind of place them where I want then I'm going to go in with my little pen or whatever, and I'm going to start underneath right here, kind of where I normally start underneath. You see, it doesn't really um, disperse much product. You almost have to like push. Oh, there we go. You kind of have to push down on it. Hold on. I'm going to put it on my hands. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And in the front part of this brow, I'm going to kind of take it up and get that hair-like effect, hopefully, like I did on this brow. Okay, I'm getting a little bit. Some of the, like, ink or whatever you want to call it coming out, it's just a little inconsistent at coming out. When I want it to come out, it's, like, not coming out. I'm going to take this further in because I do normally do that. See if we can fake some brow hairs. Oh, not really. Hmm. Or kind of. Oh, it's not bad, but I really don't like the color. The color is like purpley pink. Too red. For me. Oh, see, uh, then I tried to push down to get more ink out and I got off my path here. Okay, that was a little difficult. My other brow actually went okay. It didn't go quite this bad, <laughs> but it still wasn't like amazing. And I will be cleaning up my brows with concealer like I always do. I just feel like I can't fill in the sparse areas very well with this. I do like how precise I'm getting it when the ink is coming out, that is, um, consistently. Um, but I don't really, yeah, I don't really like how, honestly, how it does kind of look like a marker on your eye. It does kind of look like you took a purple marker. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it, that might put it out of focus, but does it look purple to y'all? Because it looks purple to me, and my boyfriend said it looked purple as well. Like I said, I do like how precise it's getting. But, I mean, it's not the most precise, but it's pretty precise. Okay, that brow came out a little bit thicker than this one, so I am going to clean it up with concealer, but... I don't think it necessarily looks any more natural than like a pomade, which is what I normally use. Um, if anything, with the color being so weird, it looks even more unnatural than a pomade. Um, and again, that kind of just 
old grape scented marker look is not really in so um yeah let me clean this brow up with concealer like i normally would and then we'll take a closer look Okay, I'm gonna try and get those hair strokes a little bit better in the front. Okay, it kind of worked. I hope you can see what's going on here. They don't look terrible. They don't look bad. The shape isn't bad. I don't really care about how it looks other than the color. And you can almost tell it's a marker, but not really, it's not that bad. Um, it's mostly just the color. <laughs> I think I forgot to mention, but I did get the color Soft Brown, so this is the color you're seeing right now. I thought the blonde almost looked a little bit greeny. You know how some tinted brow markers can look a little greeny? So I thought I would go with the Soft Brown, but then this one's looking a little purple. So I think, and this has been the case for a while, I do think companies are still struggling to get that tone right on whatever ink or whatever pigment they're putting in these brow like markers is just not working right now. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys out and we'll talk about my final thoughts on this product. Okay guys, so here are my brows finished. They look okay from far away. I'm looking in a mirror like, I don't mind the shape. I don't even really mind that it looks like a marker because it's not that bad looking. It is just mostly the tone. The tone is like purple, it's purple. My, my brows are not purple, my hair is like, a dirty blonde to like a blonde. It is not purple. I don't need purple um, eyebrows. Colored brows are a trend, definitely, but that's not what I am going for. Um, in terms of if the little marker and the little prongs work and look like hair, um, not really. I mean, kind of, but not really. Like, I feel like I had to work kind of hard with them. You have to push kind of hard to get the product to even come out, and then you're like, I don't know, losing out on the brow hair effect. Anyway, it doesn't really give the desired effect. Um, it's not really what they were going for, I don't think. It was a good try, it was a great idea, that's why I really wanted to try it. I thought that the little, um, the marker with the hair strokes would be amazing for doing brows, but it's just not really um, what I thought it would be. So I think I'm probably gonna be returning this, honestly. I don't see myself using it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my final verdict. I hope this was helpful for some of you guys if you were debating trying this, if you were just interested. Like I said before, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you did enjoy, and stick around for some more videos of mine. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.